Hey entrepreneurs, it's Sam Day here from Day Tips and in this video I'm using SE ranking as a way to perform an SEO audit and showing how you can do the same for your website. Now SE ranking have recently made updates to their platform making it even easier and more effective for you to perform SEO audits for your website. This video is kindly sponsored by SE Ranking, so a huge thank you to them. And they've given me access to the back end of their platform so that I can show you how to use it to the best of your ability. And first and foremost, uh, once you get set up with SE Ranking, you will need to plug your website in and it kind of extracts and pulls important data um, to kind of create an overview audit of your website quickly and easily. Now, before I kind of go into the software, you can use this software and this tool if you are a beginner SEO or you're doing, you know, uh, SEO on your own website, you're, you're, you're DIYing your SEO and you're kind of new to what it all is and how to start ranking, you can use this tool. But you can also use this tool if you are more experienced with SEO and you might be managing the SEO for multiple websites. So as you can see, I'm logged into SE ranking at the moment. Um, towards the tail end of this video, I'm going to be show, showing you some of the pricing plans that they have available and some special offers that they have available to you as well. But if you go down to where it says website audit, you'll you'll see that it asks you first to select your website. So I'm going to use boohoo.com as an example. And first and foremost, when you go down to website audit, it, it will kind of automatically take you into the overview section um, of the platform. So this kind of gives you an overview of your health or your website's health as it pertains to search engine optimization. So you can see uh, the pages that it has crawled and for large websites, uh, SE ranking can actually crawl up to a thousand pages uh, every two minutes. So, you know, it's a really great tool for larger websites as well. That's something to keep in mind. They've really uh, sped up how many pages that it can actually crawl and identify SEO issues for um, and suggestions for. So that's something to keep in mind as well. It gives you an overall health score so you can see kind of uh, out of a hundred how your site is faring so if your site is you know over the 50 mark then you know there's still improvements that you can make but you've probably been doing a really good job with your SEO already so that's kind of reassuring if you haven't done a lot of SEO work then your score might be very low and that's that's okay you know you can go through some of the, the strategies that SE rankings speak about and also some of the, the tips and tutorials that I speak about on this channel on a consistent basis as well. So it also takes you through some of the web core vitals. So your website web score is based on the metrics. Uh, the website score will be great only if all three metrics are considered great. So it kind of shows you what your web score vitals are in terms of performance. Um, and uh, you can also scroll down and see any immediate issues that your um, website has. So this takes you kind of through, obviously there's more issues, you can view all of them, but this takes you through the main issues um, that your website currently has. Um, and you can also see your issues distributed by category as well. So if you go down here, you can see these are the JavaScript issues, uh, CSS issues, website speed issues, and so on and so forth. And I'm gonna kind of show you how SE Ranking uh, kind of helps you with resolving these issues as well. So you can also see the domain metrics, so the domain expiration, the backlinks that are pointing, referring domains, and you can see the domain trust. Um, so the domain trust is an aggregate domain quality score developed by SE Ranking. Um, so that's a, a score that they kind of give to your website from zero to a hundred, kind of similar to like domain authority have you, has, as you've seen in, in Moz, for example, um, of how authoritative uh, they feel your website is in comparison to other websites um, in your industry. Um, you can also see your Alexa rank, um, how many pages that are indexed in Google, um, pages indexed in Yahoo and also in Bing. Um, you can see the page index um, as a percentage. These are the percentage of pages that are indexed and the percentage that are not. So um, I wouldn't be too worried if, you, if you're seeing pages not indexed because obviously not every page on your website might need to be indexed. So that might not necessarily always be a bad thing. Um, it also shows you a HTTPS status code. 
um, you can also see your page depth. So this is the distribution of scanning pages based on the minimal number of clicks it takes to reach a specific page from the home page. So obviously, uh, you know, the deeper a page is into your c categories, then the less of an SEO authority that that page is given. So you want to kind of limit how many pages or how many clicks it takes to get to a specific page because otherwise the, do the domain authority for that specific page might be lessened and um, this is kind of what it's helping you to see here. You can also see link attributes as well. You can see your external do follow and internal do follow backlinks. Um, and you can see your meta robots as well in terms of follow and index and follow and no index and so on and so forth. So I wanted to go into issue report um, because SE ranking do kind of give you a really detailed issue report. And um, kind of one thing to note as well is you can download your reports um, you can send your reports as well, maybe to your developer. And you can also generate a sitemap. If your site doesn't currently have a sitemap, then you can generate a sitemap and add that to your website. And you can actually send those sitemaps um, to Google using Google Search Console. Or you can also um, send it directly to Yahoo and Bing as well using Bing Web Master Tools. So um, as you can see, it shows you all of your errors if you click on the all. And the issues that are in green means that it's okay it's it's fine issues that are in blue are kind of you know the ones that are not so important but they're just notices so um you want to keep an eye on those and then the issues that are warnings are uh, they come in this uh, yellow uh, exclamation mark and those are ones that you might want to resolve a little bit sooner and then you have your major errors in red um, and with the X and these are the ones that you probably want to try and sort out as soon as possible because they will have the biggest um, effect on your SEO and you might kind of see low hanging fruit opportunities for you to really optimize your site if you try and fix these ones here. Um, so SE ranking don't just leave you hanging with regards to telling you what your issues are, but they also give you suggestions on how to resolve these issues. If you click on the issue, it will tell you uh, what the issue is and it will give you a little bit of a summary on how to fix it as well. And you can also see what pages have these issues. So you can click on the pages themselves um, and you can, you know, click directly to the page and see, um, you know, what the issue are and uh, what the issues are and hopefully how you can resolve them. Um, and you can kind of like skim through the pages, um, you know, one to 12, as you can see, there's a lot of pages on this particular website. Um, so you can kind of like quickly identify what pages have these issues as well. So you can quickly try to resolve them. So you also have crawled pages. So sometimes our websites, depending on what platform we are using, can actually create pages and folders of, of, of their own without us even really being conscious or aware that those pages exist. And they can actually be picking up errors on our site and taking up some of our crawl budget as well, especially if you, you are running a bigger website and this can really kind of harm your search engine optimization. So on this uh, crawled pages section, you can see all of the um, pages on your website. You can also see it in this uh, cool little directory here as well. So you can see all of the pages that are connected to your website, including any folders or subfolders that you may have not even realized were there and any duplicates as well. Um, and you can, you know, potentially get rid of them um, if need be. So that's a really important tool to kind of consider and think about as well. Um, you can also see any warnings or errors on specific pages as well. Um, so that is kind of a really easy and quick way to see any issues um, and warnings on individual pages. As you can see, I clicked on this URL um, and then I clicked on the issues and it shows me all of the issues that this page, is, that this page has. And if I click on it, again, it will show me how I can go about correcting these SEO issues for my site. Um, and then you also have found resources as well. So this is really key. So this will actually help you to identify all of the images, the CSS and JS files on your website. And it tells you what the size are uh, of these files and the loading time of these files as well. So for those of you who've been watching this channel for a, a lengthy period of time, you will know that actually um, 
the speed of your website and how quickly it, your, your pages take to load can actually impact your search engine optimization. So if you know what images and what files are taking a long time to load, then you might want to replace these images and these files with quicker loading files to help you improve the speed and in turn the overall search engine optimization of your web pages. And you can also go to found links as well. And this will kind of show you all of your internal and external links and what the status codes are for those links as well. And you can see the source and any actions. Um, you can see whether or not it's a do follow or a no follow link as well. So that's really um, quite key information that you can actually quickly access using that section of um, SC ranking. And then you have a cruel comparison as well. So this is a comparison of uh, the audit results from uh, today and you can compare it to any time in the past as well. So if you've been using SE ranking for a period of time and you want to, you've made some improvements based on what SE ranking have suggested and you want to compare the health of your website now to a month ago or three months ago or a year ago, then you can do so here as well. So that's kind of an overview of the website audit aspect of SE ranking. There's other aspects of SE ranking as well, where you can do some keyword and competitive analysis as well. And I may be going into some of those features in a future video. Um, but in terms of uh, just using SE ranking for a website audit tool, um, they actually do have a 14 day free trial. So you can explore SE ranking for yourself um, and see if it's a good fit for you, for your business, for your website and for your SEO needs. Um, and then after that, there's an 18 pounds a month option that you can go for. There's a 42 pounds a month option and there is an $89 a month option as well um, that you can go ahead and sign up for. Um, if you do use the coupon code day tips, I'll leave it in the description down below as well. Then you will get a discount on your SE ranking package. So make sure you check that out. Details of the discount will be available in the description. So make sure you check that out and click the links in the description down below if you're planning on signing up for SE ranking. But I do really hope that you found value in this video. I also have the formula, which is the free guide to generating leads and sales online to your business. So if you wanna drive SEO traffic to your site and actually convert that traffic into tangible leads and sales, make sure you go and download your absolutely free copy. As you can see, there's a copy beside me. I'll also leave a copy somewhere on this screen and in the description down below. But I really do hope that this video brought you value and if it did then please click the like button down below and make sure you share this video with a friend. If you have any additional questions or comments then leave them for me in the comment section. But until next time watch some of my other great videos. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more awesome business related content. Have a great day. Make sure you download the formula and I will see you soon.